Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you are returning, if you are new, welcome, welcome. I hope you like my content and to you remember to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button to join my YouTube family. So today I wanted to talk about a matter of personal growth. I believe very vital to any individual or development personally, our growth spiritually, the matter of abandonment. When I say abandonment, you probably think leaving your kids or leaving your family, divorce or deserting anyone in your life. But when I say abandonment, I'm not speaking to the, the traditional definition of discarding or leaving someone or something behind. I'm speaking about the act of divorcing yourself from people's viewpoint mattering so much in your life. I'm talking about putting what you want and what you need first and foremost in your radar. I believe abandonment is key to grow. So years ago, many years ago when I was studying at university, I had a lecturer and he became a very good friend of mine. And sometime when I was doing my graduate degree, he looked at me one day and he said, you know, Gigi, I wish that I had the abandonment that I've grown to have in my forties when I was your age. And I said, oh, what do you mean? He said, well, I would have led my life and lived my life so differently if I didn't care so much about what people thought about me. And it made me think. So he was reflecting on his life with some regret that he let opportunities pass that he could have otherwise grabbed and grown and he believed that his life would have been more complete and full if he had not let these opportunities slip away. So in my next few years of mulling over this thought that recurrently visited me, abandonment, developing abandonment, I tried and actively tried to live my life without caring to such a huge extent because it's Sometimes it feels impossible to not care what people think of you. But I tried little by little to apply this principle of putting what I thought, what I felt, what I cared about first in my life. Now, in the back of our minds, we are always thinking, fearing judgment from people that we hold in high esteem, from our parents, from our friends, from our preacher, from our teachers from authority figures mainly and peers. So it is hard to be judged by people and not care what they think. So a part of developing this skill, I, I dare call it, this discipline of abandonment, especially when you haven't been taught to not care what people think. You're raised from the time you're knee high to use your manners, Timmy, because people will judge you. If you don't use your manners, they'll think you're a bad person. I'm not saying not to have manners. I'm not saying not to be a good person, but I'm saying it's important not to let how people think of you dictate what you do in your life because it can be a very crippling force if you let that happen. So, Going through my 20s, my 30s, and now in my 40s, I have found the recurrent theme of abandonment being very, very important in my personal growth. So if I decide to dye my hair a strange color, what people consider strange, I have developed a thick enough skin in my 40s, now in my 40s, to not care what people think of me if I choose to dye my hair a color, if I decide to do something extreme, I reserve the right to judge myself. 
I am not looking for judgment from other people. And I'm not a very religious person, but I do believe in, in the existence of the Almighty to each his own. I believe as long as you endeavor to be a good person and to put goodness and positivity out in the world, you're not hurting anyone. Being who you are, being true to who you are, doing what you really desire to do. So I just wanted to put it out there for those of you who are young, some my age, some older, abandonment, not caring about people judging you is a liberating feeling to have and something you should strive to develop in yourself. So I'm speaking to you like you are a part of my family because you have become a part of my YouTube family. So I will be real, I will be honest with you. It is important to value what you believe, what you think highest above anyone else's. Empower yourself by developing abandonment, by caring most what you think. That said, put goodness out into the world and hopefully it will return to you. So on that note, I'm gonna wrap up because I like to keep my videos short and sweet. Thank you for joining me again and I hope you enjoyed this content. Comment down below and don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button to join my YouTube family and let's grow together. Remember, be good to yourself and love the skin you're in. Bye!